Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the same spot we've been for a while. We're at cap. We've been <laughs> mismatching teams together, trying to find a way through Morty here, and we still haven't found nothing. It, it is getting to the point, I'll, as much as I hate to do it, to go to the other gym, beat it, and then be above the level to then do this battle. I really didn't want to do that. So we're going to give it another couple tries here. Uh, see if we can't figure something else out. But it's seeming like we, we just need better Pokemon that maybe we should just go back and find. Um, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, we could also, like, replace some of the Pokemon we have here that just have really bad stats with better versions of themselves. I don't know if that's enough. Because they're all, they're all pretty... I mean, aside from the Zoroark, everything else is pretty meh. The Shellgon is good, but... I mean, the Talonflame, I think, has the worst stats here. It's not replacing Talonflame. Talonflame's been one of the Pokemon that have given us a chance. I don't know. We'll see. Let's take a quick stab at it here. See how it goes. Um, you know, if a few things fall right in place, a few of our switches land and they don't hit shots, or uh, we hit a few extra hits here with Colossal, I think we can get somewhere where we'd knock out four or five of their Pokemon. I'm not seeing us winning the battle, per se, but I still feel like there's better attempts than ones we've had. If that makes any sense at all. At this point, <laughs> this section of the game has become like an arc in itself. So, <laughs> we'll see, you know, what that means long term. If we should be expecting more of this later on. Which I don't, I'm not actually opposed to it, actually. I think it could be cool, like mini arcs within the larger series. They're still buffing. They're sticking around. Colossal doing its work. Not enough work though. It needs to do more work more often. And here's where it becomes a question. Do I land the shot and expect them just to stay or switch? They've done both. They've completely done both. They've flip-flopped all over the place. I think you Ancient Power. And if they switch, you maybe get the buff. But they're gonna dynamic punch, so you're probably gonna want to switch out anyways. We didn't get the buff anyways. We got a little bit of damage. Zoroark switch is a must. I still have to, just, I, every single time, I gotta run it through my brain just to make sure we're still doing the same thing the right way. They last time have switched, or third, stayed against our faux Venusaur here. What if I use Phantom Force? M they'll miss the burn. Probably still switch on the second turn though, because they'll realize very quickly at that point that we're not a Venusaur. <laughs> very, very, very quickly be like, wait a second, that is not a Venusaur. Um, Shadow Claw is still tempting. I hate that it's physical though. The critical hit could actually one shot it. They're switching it right away. Okay. It's the fake Weebile, it's Zorark. So they're gonna buff the first turn. Can Luxray do what we needed to do here? I think we gotta believe that it can. It's a harsh, it's a harsh one, but we're gonna send it out. They're gonna use Nasty Plot. And then... Ooh, actually. They did have other moves other than um, Ghost Type. They had like maybe Flamethrower or something. But... We gotta go for the crunch. They have Hyper Boys, that's what it is. I think they also have like a flamethrower though. Man, and that's just, that is just, that's just, that's just brutal. I guess you could have gone straight to Colossal too. Maybe that was the play. You go straight to Colossal without it having taken any damage. Rock blasted into Oblivion, hopefully. But we got no special defense. So we actually just get melted here, too. And Rock Blast isn't actually even super effective. Because it's all just an illusion. <laughs> this whole game is becoming a, just an illusion to me. It's so crazy. Come on. Ooh, it's 
Ghost a lot. Just three hits. Now, if they go for a Ghost, it, Ghost, I thought didn't hit Dark type, but I feel like it did. And Zorark, I mean, we just don't have a move that can actually even land either. You have to just ride this one out. Take the shot. Go to Talonflame. Land the Acrobatics. Knock it out. And then see what it go does from there. It might just bring out Gengar and then just say, we win. <laughs> is what I think it's going to do. But, you know, that's what it is. So, here we go. Is it Gengar? It is Gengar. It definitely do be Gengar. I still didn't check actually something of a move to give potentially Luxray. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I don't know if it's a priority move. Man, a crit would go so crazy right there. Staying at full HP, knocking out Gengar. I don't know if it's enough to even win, but it would be enough to make me happy. That's what I know for sure. You're, you're seeing like a completely battered and bruised person here. I'm just completely... I'm gone. This battle has been so brutal. You don't even feel like you got a chance. And you get hit with one of those. The problem I see with this battle is that they're just purely too fast for us. The speed is just too great. And you can't do anything about it. I don't think we have any... I mean, maybe there's a move. I don't think we have any area... There's the electric terrain, but I don't think that changes their speed. We got a crit on that. Shadow Claw. In case anyone was wondering. The real wheel vial comes out now. And it just makes us look like we don't know what we're doing. Because they have a great knockoff. And they have Triple Axle, which I, I think is a nice type. She's just great for them. They missed. Huge miss. Could have gone for the sleep, but just never thought we would have a chance. And so they missed again. We're going to be confused, though. <laughs> we're going to knock them out, but we're going to be confused. And they still have Typhlosion. So that's also just a problem. Again, we get three down, though. We're consistently doing a little bit better. Man, the money, the money, all the money is just getting melted away. I really should do something about that, shouldn't I? I really, really, really should be doing something about that. 51 Gs, how do we actually have that much money? I didn't think we had that much. Um, what was I doing? Checking TMs. Volt switch. After attack, the user switches places with a party Pokemon. It's not priority. Neither is that. Let's go for the top here. See if there's anything here. Any hidden gems here. I don't think any of those are going to help. Flip turn. It's literally the same thing, but just water type. Not priority. Iron Tail. Very strong move. Not priority. Return. Okay. Not seeing any any priority. Facade could be great. If we could set up poison on the whole team. <laughs> I don't think we can set up poison on the whole team, though. I don't even learn that. Thief. We haven't really seen many of their items come, come up. So, I don't even know what items they have. Um... Mm -mm -mm. A bunch of people can learn bulldoze. And then acrobatics. Oh, we got no priority there. No priority at all there. 
Um, where does that leave us? Man, I hate to do it. <laughs> I really hate to go to the other gym. Check moves again. Check moves, check moves. Uh, Scorched Sands, no rock polish, no. Well, I don't like that it goes back all the way out. I'd like it to go back here once we finish learning. Quick attack. Mm. Literally the one Pokemon that already has priority, and then the one move that will not even give us what we need. Elect Terrain. Powering up electric moves and eluding sleep. Not what you need. Definitely not what you need. What if we use just Roar? Is Roar good? Destiny Mon, Impression, U-Turn, Scratch, Leer, Lick, Hone Claws, Fury, Hex, Scary Fist, Taunt, Torment, Abil Agility, and Embargo. I mean, Hex, I think we should get rid of Shadow Claw, because I, I love the crit chance. I love that it's 80, but I think we got to get rid of it to stop using it. It shouldn't be there. We're just not a physical attacker whatsoever. Check Dreadnought. I haven't checked this in a long time. I don't know what I expect to find, but there's Protect, but like, is there any Pokemon that's going to be good against? Not really. Then Venusaur. I don't see anything here. I don't see anything here. No, you don't get an Orb Mary. You don't deserve it. You need to win a battle to deserve one of those. Um... I think we just go to the other gym, man. <laughs> I hate to just run away, tail between my legs, but I, I just, we're not getting anywhere. We're not getting anywhere here. Where is the fly thing? There it is. We're not getting anywhere. It's just, it's just running in circles here. Wait, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I need to find out for myself. I'm not even gonna say it. Don't tell me though. I feel like this has happened in the other gyms. It is open. We can go in it. Because I think Brock's gym was closed. You had to beat that gym leader first. Here you don't. This dude. This dude. I had to just find out if he's the same dude. It's the same dude. They didn't even change his dialogue. Um, is this the team we actually want for this gym? Probably not, but it's the team we have for this gym right now. Just lead Talonflame. I think it should be doing pretty good against most of these battles. Especially against an Oddish level 37. It's got no chance. The priority on priority on speed on damage is just too good. I mean, if they're just using Bell Sprouts, we don't need to even watch this. This this is embarrassing for this gym to have Bell Sprouts reversing Mega Gengars. And they bring a base level Pokemon here. We will do all the trainers though, that being said. <laughs> We will absolutely do all the trainers. Really, I should have a Pokemon here that's going to level up by just taking all this XP. So let's actually go do that real quick. I think that just makes sense. Even if it's a Pokemon we don't really use, everything should be leveled up because you never know the day of tomorrow. What might happen and what we might need. Who can we add here? I mean, the return... And you know what? The actual return. Venusaur is actually doing... Well, I could do some stuff against the gym leader. Um, yeah, let's just do that. There's obviously Sharpedo and Miss Magius that are further off. But I think this just makes more sense. And I should actually heal them as well. Our Talonflame. Get its PP back up there. Let's do that real quick. There we go. Okay, back to the gym we go. We'll at least be leveling up some other Pokemon. Poltegeist? It is a ghost type. Grass type. Ghost type? Just ghost type, maybe? Is it good for that gym leader? I don't think so. I really don't. I don't think it's going to make a difference. So, I don't think it's really worth even bringing around. Yo, that looks like a cool sprite. See you never. Level 35. Nothing around there. She got that vision. I mean, like, I don't even know how to feel about this. This is maybe one of my first complaints 
about this game so far. Like, Leveny will, will be okay with that Pokemon, but like the Bell Sprouts. I get it's like maybe a thematic with what should be here, but they don't stand a chance. Level 35s. Kind of stinky, if you ask me. Take the Giga Drain. Move that Vetus where I never ended up learning. Uh, sir? Why do you have this? What am I putting out here? I'm gonna go Zorark, I guess. Take some of this. Why does it have a Graveler? I'm very confused. The real Axe, you please stand up. Please learn Taunt. Please don't, though. Could Taunt go nuts in that battle? At this point, I think anything could maybe be amazing. <laughs> or just horrible. You make a Pokemon continue to just use the same move over and over again? I don't know if that's going to be good or not. That was an interesting team. They got a lot of interesting Pokemon here. But I think we're still completely fine. Never mind. Back to Talonflame we go. The Stealth Rock did so much damage. I guess it's super effective on both sides here. It's fine. Pharaoh Seed. Eat him up. Iron Barb and then... Recoil. Trainer Mary had no chance. Oh, I didn't even think about this. Well... I mean... Dragon types are strong Pokemon. If we land a shot with this, a Dragon Claw is always going to be pretty much neutral across all of that team. Is it better than Shellgun? I don't know. Maybe. I expected to have better damage. Dual Chop. Maybe is actually good too. 40 and 40. Pretty much just equals 80. But it hits twice. Mimikyu... Talking about Mimikyu and trying to get a multi-hit move. Maybe Colossal has found a place in the PC. <laughs> Is maybe what's going to happen there. Maybe, just maybe. Still going first. Still knocking it out. 37. And a 10 Jello. No big deal. Alrighty. And just like that, the gym is pretty much conquered. Yo, that sprite's so good! That's so good! Get it out of here. That's an amazing sprite. You gotta give it to the artist that did that one. That one is just top notch. Wow. Lovely stuff there. Okay, back to the PC, heal up, and let's see. I mean, probably check out our team, honestly. Our team should probably be looked at to see if this is the team we should be rolling with this. Heal up real quick. Okay, and what do we got? I mean, this is a no-brainer. It's a must-have. We are going to get rid of our Pokemon here. This Venusaur, I think, is also kind of a, a good Pokemon to have in here. The Poison's good. Dreadnought, not so much. Let me move this actually beside here. Can he compare them right now? The bubbles are just too different. I think this is the best team we got. I say that, then I look at Luxray and I think, mm. I get a little concerned. Maybe a little swagger can go a long way though. Maybe. Let's give it a shot. We can't do one gym leader, so why not do another one? They're probably also going to have a Mega. What Mega could they have? That is a great question. I'm thinking Mega Venusaur, Mega Sceptile. What other Grass Mega is there? There's no like Vile Plume Mega. I think we lead with their Talon Flame. Um, all right. I don't know. I don't know what else is out there. Erica, Gym Leader Four, Arillaboom. Also looking sick. Level 43, Grassy Surge. You hate it? We have priority though. I'm gonna try the acrobatics. It's not enough. Drain Punch. 
not that great but i see what they're doing okay they get heal from terrain you don't like it but you deal with it and down it goes okay it's a grass electric type i think that means we want to switch and you know what i think this is a great switch to venusaur because sludge is, is super effective and if they switch likely odds that they're still bringing grass type out and thunderbolt's not gonna do much damage i think that's ingenious i think it's a smart switch are we gonna heal absolutely we are and a little sludge bomb oh of course okay i thought maybe electrode had um got, gotten over that kind of got over those kind of moves but apparently not that's fine just to change it up a little bit so talonflame just doesn't sweep here let's bring out rapidash <laughs> the confidence is <laughs> the confidence is way too high they only have five pokemon meganium is is pretty good for them defense goes up you got a fire blast we land it which is huge doesn't finish them that's for sure they got good defense. Oh, come on. They get the all stats up. Rapid Ash shields from the terrain. Um, we might not knock them out with a fire blast. We gotta do it and we might also miss. They're faster than us. That's a new one. They're faster than us. Level 44. Two. Yikes. They're faster than us. They're faster than Talonflame. I gotta I gotta try Swagger, I think. How are they faster than us? Super effective move. Of course. Who <laughs> should expect nothing less? Yikes. Zorark. They got the all stats up. I can't believe it. We haven't gotten a single time on Colossal. I don't know if the grassy terrain is, is boosting their speed too. It's not. It's not. It's not. I never would have thought the speed up would have been enough to outspeed our whole team. Never would have put that one together. We're using ancient power on us, and it's still good. <laughs> it's still really good. We folded. We absolutely folded. Right in half. Holy. Well. <laughs> Man, we went in so confident. I never expected to see an all stats up do that much work for their team. That's crazy. Back we go. Bit of a walk of shame here, but it is what it is. Damn, dude. They leaded with Rillaboom. Let's try this instead. Just go, we could also even leave with Venusaur. But that expl uh, that Electrode is, is dangerous, that's for sure. Just, just don't have Fire Blast miss. That's my concern right now. We got lucky we landed a couple. Somehow it continues to land. That's ha that's painful. 
That's so painful that we don't finish that. And we're getting knocked out. On top of it all. You can't one-shot any single Pokemon in this, in this game. Damn. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. What are they gonna bring out? Electrode, probably. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I think you just do the trade. Venusaur could be still good. I think the trades just, it is what it is. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I just want to know what's out here, so we're gonna swagger. I do kind of hate that I brought this out here because now it has a chance to actually trigger the all stats up. With Grassy Seed, the defense went up. Dazzling Gleam, I forgot about. I don't want to bring Talonflame out yet. It got me again. It got me again. It got me again. Ugh. <laughs> uh. So much damage. We're using a special attack here. Please leave it with Frostbite. We got a crit. No Frostbite. And they're faster than us, though. I don't know what to tell you. They're just faster than us. And likely thing is here, we're not going to knock them out. They got physical defense on their team, and we're all physical attack, except Venusaur. Maybe Venusaur can't be the trade. It might not be able to be the trade. We need that special attack, especially on this thing. No chance we survive. It was never meant to be. Damn, dude. Damn. Okay, so who do we sacrifice then if it's not Venusaur? Is it Colossal? Goes up against the Electrode and hopefully does something. Well, we're maybe going to find out what they have next anyways. They got the all stats. Please knock it out. <sighs> Didn't think that was going to happen. Our speed is kind of high right now for Colossal. They have a Venusaur. I can only bet it's going to be the Mega. Yikes. Um, how are we going to handle that thing? I don't want to know. I don't want to really answer that question right now. <laughs> uh, what I do know, though, is Luxray is doing nothing on our team. And it's just, it's walking around, it's looking super cute and all that. But it's actually doing nothing when it comes to doing something in this battle. So, that means it's going to be the sacrifice when it comes down to it. Should we get something else to replace it? Yeah. Are we going to? Not right now. Last attempt here. 
Give it another shot. I hate again that we're leading here with Rapid Dash and it's hit and miss Fire Blast that's been hitting. We're due for it to miss. But we're doing it anyways. We can also burn somebody. You know, maybe having burned this would have been the good option. I think we should have burned right off the gates there. Maybe we survive that hit. And then we um, were able to then plan a little bit better. Well, better but not better because we're getting knocked out. Because we get burned, it would hit us, survive, we land Fire Blast, it maybe doesn't get knocked out, knocks us out, knocks itself out with burn, and then we just don't know what's coming out next. Versus this, we apparently also don't know what's coming out next. Meganium has come out already. It's fairy type. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. We gotta go for one of these bigger moves though. You gotta get out of here as soon as possible. Dude. Dude. That's so strong. The physical defense is just nuts. It's completely crazy. You gotta bring out Venusaur. Gotta go for the sludge and see how that does. How it can actually fare in this battle, don't tell me. <gasps> They're insane. They're actually... They're actually crazy. They're actually crazy. They just came out the flex on us. It doesn't affect, oh my gosh, the grassy terrain. I'm gonna lose my mind. The grassy terrain. The grassy terrain, eh? Can't put them to sleep. I thought that was only me electric terrain, but apparently that's across all of them. You cannot put anything to sleep when they're when they're juiced up on the terrain. Damn. <laughs> just take a moment here to just see what we're really going through here. We're going through two gym leaders that are both ridiculous. Now, do we have a mega ring? I don't think we do. So I don't think we can compete that way with them. If we could, that would be great. But we don't even have the, the Venusaur one. We do have an Abra one, which Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam could do some good work here. We actually outspeed it with Zorark, so that's, that is good to know. We leave it with Frostbite. It misses that. Um, we got to use Hex. You must use Hex here. Double up on the damage, and we actually might knock it out here. We do. Okay. Does Hex actually double the damage there? I think it still does. I think it just does it on all status effects. Although, they don't actually say that in the description of it. This one's faster than us. They have three starter Pokemon. Sharply Rose. Sharply rose. That's what just happened there. Their attack sharply rose. That shouldn't affect us. It's normal type. Not gonna get away with that one, are we? We beat the Venusaur. Zoroark can actually do some good damage to Venusaur. And it outspeeds it. That is a huge knowledge buff on our part. Yo, we actually survived that with their extreme special attack. This is not damage, though. This is fake damage. 
is actually much better than I thought it was gonna be. Speed up, speed up, but not enough speed. And then Dragon Falls. Okay, um, you know what? Um, did I think we'd do this poorly? On a grass type gym when we have three fire type Pokemon that are, two of them are really fast? Never. Has it actually happened? Yes. Did I just use a not very effective against this? Yes. Are they gonna one shot us? Probably yes. Doesn't matter. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't know what to tell you. We're in a tough spot here. We're in a very tough spot. And I can only imagine it gets tougher. But I think at the same time, it's also gonna get, this is, this is a wild thing to say, a little bit easier. Once we beat this gym, we're gonna be hopefully over the cap to get ourselves a Salamence, and that's a huge get. So we gotta struggle a little bit longer here, find a breakthrough. I think Luxray right now is worthless on our team. It's not doing anything for that battle, and we gotta make that change. But for now, we'll leave it off here. If you enjoyed the episode, as always, hit that like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next episode. Continue commenting down below what you think we should do, suggestions on the playthrough, Pokemon maybe we should look at getting, and I'll get to them as soon as I can see them. But for now, See you on the next episode. Till then.